What's up guys, it's Janelle and today's video is on Adidas inspired nail art. The colors that I use for this look are white and black, with regular black and white polish for the base colors and black and white nail stripers for the nail art. For the ring finger slash accent nail, I used a metallic silver and a silver and gold glitter polish. I also used a small dotting tool, but you can use a toothpick for this. And as always, you can't forget your top coat and your base coat. First, let's apply some base coat. The design for the index and pinky nails will have a black background, so I'm applying two coats of black nail polish. Next, I'm adding three white stripes using a nail art nail polish. This one is from Salon Perfect. It's water-based, so essentially you could use a water-based acrylic paint instead. All you gotta do is add top coat over it. I know that drawing straight lines is pretty tough, especially when I'm nervous. So I like to make short guiding strokes with the brush so it's a little bit more controlled. Also, any mistakes that you make, especially in black and white, can be fixed if you're patient enough. The thumb and middle nails will have a white background and a black logo. To make the white opaque, I'm adding two coats. To start the Adidas logo, I'm taking my black striping polish and I'm adding three upside down V's. Well, maybe not three V shapes, more like two and a half. And if we take a look at the logo here, the design consists of three leaves with pointy ends. So let's finish off the three leaves and then fill them in with black. After letting that dry, now I'm going to add the three horizontal white lines along the bottom of the logo. And again, I'm going to fix any weird looking lines with black. For the ring finger, I'm applying a silver metallic base color, and one coat should be enough. All of this black and white needs a bit of sparkle, so I'm adding one coat of glitter over that. You know how the Adidas Superstar sneakers have those bold lines with the zigzag detail? Let's emulate that by adding a band with a black nail art polish. Then I'm going to use a dotting tool dipped in black to add dots along the band to make that subtle zigzag edge. And now all that's left to do is to add some top coat. What if I want a different look? Here's the original color palette with black, white, and silver. Or if you want, you can add a color gradient underneath the logo. I think blue and teal under a white logo would look great. Another good option is to use whatever favorite team colors you favor in your color gradient and then add the stripes and logo in black or white. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, did, did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. We have no thumbs. <laughs> please subscribe. Bye. <laughs>